What's going on, y'all? It's GumGum TCG here, back again with another video, and today we have the Market Watch Monday covering OP06. Uh, this set actually released on 315, which was Friday, and it's officially out. You know, anybody can list now on TCG Player if you have these cards for sale. So we're gonna be taking another look at this market. I know we looked at it last week, but uh, this is gonna be kind of a comparison video. You know, last week we looked at pre-release prices and why you really shouldn't buy those because they're very overpriced. And this week we're going to be looking at uh, where prices are starting to fall. You know, uh, we'll we'll continue to look at this uh, in a few weeks when things are really settled and product is uh, more available, stuff like that. But for now, I uh, kind of just wanted to take a look at it, see if some of the stuff I said was correct or not, and uh, kind of go from there, maybe give you some penny stonks from this set and stuff like that. Things you should really look out for. Cards I think are good pickups. And uh, yeah, so... Right off the bat, let's just go ahead and jump into this. Um, I mean, last time we talked about cases, uh, they were about the same price, and they really haven't moved at all either. Uh, 25, 20, about 2500 for a case is honestly ridiculous for this set. Uh, this set is not that great. I mean, it's a good set, don't get me wrong, but the value of the cards in them, uh, I really think, I think that... I, there's just more to be had in other sets, and I think that this is just very overpriced, overhyped, and overscalped. I think that's kind of the market that we're looking at here, and kind of why you should stay away from some of these sealed prices, you know, like... Uh, I always recommend trying to buy early, and a lot of people don't believe me when I say I get my boxer for $90 a piece, but if you catch them at the right website at the right time, you can get them for about $90 to $100 a piece. Um, I've listed those before in other videos, and yeah, you just really have to be on the lookout right when a product drops. Um, but speaking of a good product, I want to shout out Dueling Guard. So if you haven't heard of Dueling Guard, they're the best TCG accessory company on the market. They make the highest quality anime-inspired TCG deck boxes, binders, playmats, and now even sleeves. They have sleeves that are top-tier quality. I've been using them for a while myself now, and... Uh, yeah, I can never go back to another sleeve. So if you haven't checked them out before, go check out the link in my description below and use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. What? You haven't heard of Dueling Guard? Dueling Guard is the best TCG accessory company on the market. They have high quality deck boxes, binders, and play mats made for people who enjoy playing and collecting trading card games in style. They have tons of designs based off of fan favorite anime such as One Piece, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist, and many more. They hit the ground running earlier this year making high-quality TCG accessories with beautiful designs that have sold out many times, so if you haven't picked up any of their products, make sure to do so before they sell out again. I have a few deck boxes and playmats from them already and can attest to how they don't cut any corners when it comes to quality, performance, and design. I highly recommend their products and use them every time I play cards. Be sure to check the description below for a link to their site and use code GUMGUMTCG for a discount at checkout. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and look at this manga rare. So when we looked at this last time, uh, I believe the sale, the listings were about like 3000 or 2500 or something like that. And I said that that was all whack. I thought this would be about a thousand dollar manga. I was a little off. People are selling them for about 1600. You know, we do have sales here. Um, for $1,600 and stuff like that. Now, personally, I would want to do a deal like this of a higher quality card, uh, more of a more expensive card if I was going to buy something like this. I'd like to do it in person so I could definitely investigate the card, check it out and stuff like that. You know, uh, TCG Near Mint is a little different than Pack Fresh. Uh, this could be it even has a slight ding or a scratch on it. So you have to be very careful of that. Uh, that's why these pictures are very helpful sometimes. Like this guy did a great job of posting a couple of photos of it, but uh, still it can be hard to see everything in a photo. You know, here we even have some whitening up at the top here. So that's a little scary, uh, especially if you're spending so much money on this, a, a card like this, I imagine you would be trying to get it graded or something like that, added to your personal collection. You would obviously want it as minty as possible. So uh, my recommendation, definitely try to do deals like this in person, but uh, that's just me. But uh, like I said, I was predicting more around a hundred, a thousand, 1200 kind of price. It's definitely sticking more up at a 16 right now. I could see it going down a little bit more. Uh, we don't have too many sales on here and people aren't really looking to budge yet. And then again, it is only a couple days after release. So we have to keep that in mind when looking at all the cards and, and thinking about factors like that. Um, boxes, I believe when we looked, were about like 240, 250. Now they're more like 215, which is still 
ridiculously overpriced for this product. I don't think that it's worth that much. It's not worth double retail. Um, there are good cards in there. You definitely can pull some good cards to uh, kind of make up that value and make your money back, if you would say that. But um, I, I still think that trying to buy your singles is probably your best bet if you're wanting just uh, regular singles or alt arts, things like that. Uh, but if you are a gambler, I mean, that's the price you're going to have to be paying. Double packs, I definitely think aren't worth this. 185 for 16 packs. I mean, that's like, uh, it's more than $10 a pack. You are getting the Dawn cards out of them as well. But I mean, you can buy the Dawn cards for a couple bucks themselves if you really want them that bad. So I, I don't think double packs are worth that price. You know, if I do, if you do find these out in the wild at your retailer, uh, or your, your local big box store like Walmart or Target, they are typically about 8 to $10. Uh, I don't think that's a horrible price. I think that's actually pretty reasonable and uh, definitely grab one or two. Leave some for the rest of the community, though. I feel like that's a big problem is people scalping and buying out the entire store. Uh, so if you see these out in the wild, leave some for the next person. Uh, but let's look at Yamato. So I was wrong about Yamato. Uh, I believe this was like 150 on pre-release. Maybe Maybe I'm wrong about that. I can't remember. Um, but I do believe it was lower than 200. Maybe it was a little higher. Yeah, someone even got this for a hundred bucks back on the fifth. Um, but uh, 200 bucks. Uh, it's got that waifu tax. We'll we'll notice that with the other uh, alt art leaders is they have the waifu tax as well. I said they'd be lower. Maybe they will eventually. But people are just really hype on this set right now. Um, especially with the scarcity, I think that drives the prices up. But Yamato at 200. It's a little ridiculous, but uh, I could see it coming down a little bit more. Now, this Nami, I told you this was not going to stay at $500. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. Even anything over one, I think $100 is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I do. I, I don't think this is a horrible price for such a low pool rate, but I do, th I do think it'll, it should go down a little bit more. I don't like that price. This one definitely shocked me. Rebecca SP at $150. That's kind of crazy, but... There's hella sales for it. I mean, crazy sales. Like, people really like this card and want to get it. So, uh, if you pull this, I'd definitely get rid of it. Um, especially with the Sokka band coming out. Uh, I definitely would get rid of that. Perona. Um, like I said, this is more that waifu tax. I said that I said that this would be lower, uh, maybe around a hundred bucks or lower, like eighty, something like that. And it has shocked me, staying at about a one thirty price tag. Uh, like I said, I feel like this is a lot of inflation, uh, secondhand market manipulation, and scarcity of product. Uh, there are a lot of whales out there that are buying up all the product to re then reflip it and sell it, and they're kind of being able to to control the market at their own price and pace because of that. Um, same with Raju, like 140. I don't think that's, I, I, I thought this was going to be about 80 bucks, but, uh, like I said, we are only a few days out of, uh, the release day. So, uh, buggy at a hundred bucks, you know, I, I said that this was probably going to be the most expensive one. I think it's just like one of the more playable ones, uh, of the SPs. And it's also really, really good looking, uh, very generically good, strong card there. Uh, so a hundred bucks. I don't think that's too bad. I, would like to see it maybe around like 80, but people love their uh, their red decks. Oh, Nami. This one kind of shocked me shooting up over 100 bucks. You know, I mean, it is a Nami card, but uh, we do have an SP of this coming out that features Otama on it as well, and it's very, very pretty. Um, but this one shocked me going up so much. Like, it was, um, uh, I believe, 90 or 80 on on pre pre-release, pre-sale. Yeah, like 80, 90 bucks, and now it's like 120. Kind of shocking, but uh, it is a really, really strong card, and it is Nami, of course. You got to gotta pay the waifu tax. Same with this Raju card. Uh, I think this was lower as well. Um, yeah, like 68 bucks, but um, yeah, 70 bucks people were paying them. Uh, now it's about 105. This card's really, really strong, though. Really good generic card. Do see it coming down. All these prices I see coming down more. Um, a lot of these high-end ones are just still floating, uh, once we get down a little more to the next page, I think we'll see more of what I was originally talking about in last week's video. Um, Moria leader, like I said, this was about a hundred bucks and it has fallen to about that price. I do like that. I think that's not a bad price for this leader. Um, I feel that this leader is much like Dofi where it's kind of locked to that specific, uh, thriller bark kind of typing. So, uh, it's only as good as it can be as long as good generic black cards continue to come out that can support this. But um, 
it's also restricted to being as good as these Thriller Bark cards allow it to be. So unless we get another wave of Thriller Bark support, like a year down the line, kind of like what they're doing with Dofi, um, this leader will kind of fall off eventually. Uh, it's very, very strong, though. Don't, don't misquote what I'm saying here. This leader will be strong for a very long time. However, I could see it getting power crept uh, until more cards for it are released. Um, the Gecko Alt Art also surprised me shooting up over $100. Um, I thought this would be stay around its 90, maybe even to $80 price tag. But then again, this is one of the strongest cards in this set, if not the strongest. Uh, so yeah, if you pull that, you're, you're sitting pretty. I, like I said, I'd recommend moving most of these alt arts. If you pull them, uh, anything on this first page, if you pull them like out of a box or something, I'd try to get rid of them before they go down. Um, because some of them I could see going down, some I could see going up, but like these leaders, I do not expect to stay $140 a piece for very long. Yeah, in Yamato, $200, I do not expect that to stay that way. But uh, I've been proven wrong before, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I'm proven wrong again. Charlotte Linlin, I am surprised this one is $100 still. Um, it was higher than that, but uh, I, I do expect this to calm down to maybe like 80 bucks. But uh, Cat is a very strong deck in set six, so... Uh, people are trying to pick up this cooler version uh, rather than the scary version. This one really shocked me. Uh, Perona Alt Art at 110. You know, this pre-sale was like 85 and it shot back up as well. Um, I mean, like I said, I feel that the scarcity of product is really driving this set and also all the, the waifu tax. I mean, all the waifus in this set are really driving the prices of their own cards um, <clears throat> we have a lot of collectors that are into collecting waifu cards and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of one miss all Sunday here, I thought this would be a lot cheaper than it is. Um, and I do see it coming down, but it is a very nice looking card, but 85 bucks. Nice. Don't think so. Uh, what else we got Zoro? This one did come down. This was like 90 or 80 on pre-release and it's about 60. Now I could see it going down to even 50 in, in a week or two time. Um, very strong card, though. Very nice looking card. I pulled one myself, and it does look really good. Um, Hiori also surprised me at $65. Oh, $68. Um, yeah, I I didn't see this being that expensive. But then again, it is a very strong generic card. Um, I could see it coming down from that as well, sitting around $40 in a week or two. Uh, Uta, I told you this would probably be about $60. Look at where it's at, 60 bucks. Sugar, about 50 bucks. This art is really sick. Uh, if Dofi family gets like more better green support, um, I could see this shooting up. You know, it, people are kind of torn between whether they like this cute one or the hilarious alt art from 04. So um, yeah, I could see this going back up one day if Dofi family gets some more better support. But um, for now, I only see it going down. Uh, Borsalino, 60 bucks. I don't think is bad. This art is awesome. Uh, I might be biased on that. I just think it's super cool. Uh, great colors on it. Great full art look to it. And he's just chilling. You know, that's, this is the vibe I get from Borsalino, like just chilling, eating, and then he has to go do business. So, um, I really like it, but, um, it looks like somebody had some miss, miss, uh, labeled versions and someone thought they were scooping up eight eight copies of them or something or maybe this just spreads across both because it's the same card uh, i don't really know but uh yeah 60 bucks isn't too bad for this card i don't think very good generic blue card but i could see it going down a little bit more as well so um there's that sanji like i said i thought about 40 45 dollar price range seems decent for this card uh, I could see it falling more as well. All these prices I see going down more because it, it's just scarcity of product. You know, a lot of people are still waiting on their product to come in. I have a couple boxes that I'm still waiting to get in and then will not be here until this week. So uh, once that happens, I think the market will flood and people will just continue to undercut themselves until we reach a price point where everybody's starting to list and buy. Um, like Momo for 36. This card's gorgeous, but it's just not played that often. It's not played in too many lists. So 35 bucks, I, I see it being more like 25. But I mean, we do have some cards that I think are good pickups like Hody Jones for 40, Altart. I don't think that's bad. This is the only green ca card with Rush. Uh, it rests two of any character in the game. It's it's an absolutely insane card. I think that's crazy. Um, Hody Jones leader for 35. This is about what I said it would land at. And uh, I really don't think this will go down. So if you're wanting a Hody leader, I'd say now is the time to grab it before people start poking it back up. 
uh, I think thirty-five dollars is is a great price for an alt art leader. Um, does she get twenty bucks? I don't think that's bad at all either. You know, I know she searches navy cards. Sokka's getting hit, so uh, we kind of need a new blue navy leader to really substitute that or something like that to help this flourish. But twenty bucks ain't bad for a searcher, man. Uh, Ichiji at twenty-eight. Uh, I'm not mad at that either. This card's really, really strong. It's just restricted into that one deck, so kind of um base your opinions and purchases off of that you know when it's stuck to one leader is it worth buying that card that's kind of what i think about when i buy an alt art um unless it's a searcher if it's type restricted or leader restricted or something like that like these germa cards it's just kind of uh kind of scares me away from wanting to buy it uh, Zora at 22 bucks. I'm not mad at that at all. I think 20 bucks is about where he should be sitting. Uh, maybe 15 if we're lucky. Uh, Absalom at 25. That's actually pretty good card. But like I said, I'm at, this card is generic, but you really only play it in the Thriller Bark leaders. Um, so 25, I don't think is bad. I'd like to see it at 20. Uh, Moria like has held this price since pre-release and I'm not mad at that. I like a high end super rare that people can kind of chase after. And we actually have, um, a couple in this set, which I, I do like, I think it's healthy for a, a set like this to have at least a super rare worth a good amount of money so that you can, you can pull it and feel like you got your value out of a couple packs that you bought. Um, Shariah at 16 is kind of crazy to me. I do see this card being, uh, played a lot more in the future, but uh, 16 for the alt is ridiculous. Um, same with Judge. Like, well, Shariah, I think, is undervalued. Judge, I think, is overvalued. Uh, this one, um, like, it's not leader locked, but it is Germa locked. So, like, you have to play this in a deck. Whoa, don't want to do PayPal. You have to play this in a deck where you're playing the Germa cards, and you can only do that with Reiju right now. So unless we get another Germa leader, which I could see a Judge leader coming out, I don't think that 1750 is worth that for this card. I see more like 10 to 12, but um, that'll probably come down as well. Uh, Shanks, 18, I see this more like 10 to 12 too, and I don't think that's a bad pickup. This art, this is a very generic card and very powerful card. Um, Tinned on, I mean, there are better 10 cost cards than this for sure, but like, we do have uh, confirmation that set nine is a four emperors themed set. And uh, of course, one of those are going to be the red haired pirates. And um, you never know what that deck could be like. We have a lot of red shanks cards already. Uh, I guess not a lot, but we have like three, four red shanks cards, if I'm not mistaken. So I could see it being a red deck with a red shanks leader. And if that's the case, then who knows? This card might be really busted in that. And the artwork on that is sick. Uh, film searcher Luffy for 1688. I do not uh, think is right. I wouldn't pay more than 10 bucks for those. Sanji's at 17. It does have me a little surprised, uh, but not too surprised. It is a secret rare and it is a very strong card. However, I thought that we were going to have another Kaido situation on our hands where everybody was pulling these 10 drop Kaidos and list is, starts listing them for $5. If this goes below $10, you bet, you better believe I'm buying a, a shit ton of them. This card is insanely broken and we'll see play in a lot of decks for a long time. Uh, just getting free advantage. Like it's very, very powerful. And, uh, I would recommend picking up a place at Asanji's if you enjoy any kind of blue leader, uh, Raiju at $18. That's another one of these high end super rares that I do like to see in a set like this. However, um, I mean, like if you're trying to build Raju, the real only real expense you're having to to pay is the Raju's and then the rest of the commons and rares and then your judges that I think are two dollars. So uh, I I'm not mad at eighteen dollars for Raju's. I do see it calming down a little bit as well. Just once these prices start to settle, product is flowing, stuff like that. Everybody has their product in their hands. That's kind of what we're waiting on right now. Like I said, a lot of people are still waiting on pre-orders, um, but. Uh, Kami for 16, not too mad at that. I do think this will go down at like to like 10 or less. Uh, we already have one alt art that's less than $10 at Aramaki, and I think this card's actually really strong and kind of slept on. Um, it could have a good home in a deck in a while. I do like it in Queen. I think it helps you with your hand size, helps you with removal, and um, uh, also meets your Queen leader effect. So if you're a Queen player, I'd recommend trying out Aramaki, and you might grab these alt arts while they're they're pretty cheap. He already at 15, uh, also a little, um, nice to see, but 
Um, kind of shocking as well. I figured this was going to be more like 10. So maybe we'll see. Maybe it will be 10 here in a few days. I'm going to stop saying that. Maybe it'll be 10. Uh, it should be 10. Whatever. Hody at $8.99, like $9 for this card is bonkers to me. Like I thought this was going to be more of the $20 card. But um, I guess I've been proven wrong by TCG player again. Um, Perona at 8. I do see this being more like 5. Uh, Momo at 3. I see this being at like 2. Kiku at the the rare slot for 229, that's that's inflated. Like the card's good, but there's a hundred listings and none of them want to budge under two dollars is crazy. Shariya for two dollars, that's a really good pickup. Judge for 150, I see it being a dollar. Um, we have Onami. I'm skipping over these Dons because these are usually about two or three bucks. They don't really move too much. Onami at 175 also doesn't surprise me too much, just being such a good yellow card. Um you're the one who should disappear. 75 cents. I do think this is a penny stock. Uh, this card's insane in yellow. We, like, all the colors now have a zero cost event, and I think that this is one of the best ones, if not the best one, because of its trigger. Um, so if you don't have a play set of this, I'd pick up a play set of this. And then if these dip below, like, 50 cents, I'd, I, I, I might grab a handful of them because that card's really good. Uh, Shanks at 75 cents. That's not bad at all. Like I said, this card's generic. I think I could see it being good in the four emperors Shanks deck. So 75 cents. I mean, if I can grab four of these for a dollar a piece, I might do it. Uh, reject. Unfortunately, this card is getting bad. Well, I guess fortunately this card's kind of broken. Um, but 50 cents, not too shabby. Uh, this is one thing I wanted to talk about for all you goobers out there that decided to spend $12 a copy on raise max. And you know who you are. I'm talking to you. Um, I'm just going to go back here, see if we can't go all the way back to that, uh, pre-release prices because people bought these out on uh, release day. We might be sitting here for a minute. I do apologize, <laughs> but I want to see. <clears throat> yeah, look day before release, someone paid. Three four three fifty a copy, three dollars a copy, three dollars a copy, three thirty eight a copy, and uh, someone paid seven seventy five a copy. Someone paid almost eight dollars a copy, nine dollars a copy, twelve copies for a dollar. I mean, I guess that's okay, but like, man, y'all overpaying on commons. And the thing is, is like they didn't even ship until that Friday, and you could have gotten them for fifty cents that Friday. Like, sometimes if it's a common, an uncommon or a rare, just wait till release to pre-order. Like, paying $10 a copy for an uncommon that's going to be in abundance, like 116 listings. I mean, this guy has 62 of them for 50 cents, man. Like, just don't, don't overpay for stuff like that. Like, uh, your rares and stuff, like some of these rares are a little more valuable than others right now, but they will calm down. Um... As for other penny stocks, I think Ryuma is really good. Uh, this card is just better X Drake. It's not searchable like X Drake in the Supernova deck, but fuck, man, it does it twice. Like that's broken. That card's really, really good. I'd watch out for that. Uh, Gravity Blade Raging Tiger for ten cents a copy is a steal. This card's insanely powerful if you play it on Curve and Blue decks, and I highly recommend having a play set of these on standby and maybe even picking up more because this card's broken. Uh, I definitely see it going up behind, uh, above 10 cents uh, one day. So I'd recommend grabbing some of those. Charlotte Pudding as well. This card's insanely powerful. Um, looks like there was a 20 cent copy before we clicked on it. Now the lowest is 45 cents, but uh, it'll probably float back down again here in a day or two. So um, yeah, this is another card I'd say maybe pick up a bunch of uh, if you are a, a person who likes to buy a bunch of cards and then try to resell them again. Um, I don't, uh, I'm not condoning that nor recommending that, but if that's the, uh, the kind of business you like to do, um, or you like to have a lot of them on standby, maybe for trades or to help people out, um, these are the cards that I, I recommend grabbing, uh, Brooke, Brooke is very strong, Arlong is very strong, um, I think Negative Hollow is a sleeper of a card, but I don't know how, like, it doesn't go in too many decks, um, if White Snake was a rare, I'd say yes, but it is an uncommon, so it's it's a little easier to get, I believe. Um, 
there's not too many else in here though um i would say for future pre-releases if you don't have a yamato leader on standby grab one for 15 cents just pick it up uh this leader's really really strong for pre-releases um but other than that that's about all i got for you for this market watch today i really just wanted to look over stuff talk about it show you the prices give you my thoughts and opinions what i think things are going to settle at and um we should start seeing more movement here in in the next week. Like I said, a lot of people are still waiting on their product to come. Um, I know tons of people who have ordered boxes and cases, and they still have not gotten them over the weekend. You know, a lot of uh, USPS doesn't ship over business days uh, or non-business days, so like the weekend. So um, once those people get that and we can start flooding the market with more prices, I do see a lot of these going down. Um, yeah, I think it's just held up right now by a lot of stores and uh, people who have had the product already. So uh, with, that, with, with that, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this market watch. I know it's a little bit more of a boring one. We're not looking at too much more than OPO6 right now. We will have one that's a little more interesting next week. I promise you it will not be OPO6 again. But um, with that, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another Market Watch Monday. Check out some of my other content. Like the video. It helps other people see it. Go check out Dueling Guard for the best TCG accessories you'll find. And uh, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.